Now, for me, this is one of the biggest stories this week. And honestly, John Ram has just gone up in my estimations of how good is this guy. Not golfing ability, just a nice guy. Do you think? Yeah, 100%. Right, okay. Well, go into go into what okay. this is about, and then I'll tell you why I think you're wrong. I don't feel like Josh agrees with me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying here is John Ram has been asked questions about the fact, should PGA Tour players be compensated for not going to live golf? And I'm going to say right now, I 100% agree with him and let me explain okay i i mean for the top players who are going to be in the likes of getting the compensation the compensation should be for the lower players that is my opinion and i've said that right there well that right there is basically what i was going to say get to you. in there because <laughs> whilst i understand what john ram is saying and we will get into the nitty-gritty of what i actually said but for me for him to come out as a leading person in the PJ Tour, a leading player, probably on the Players' Council, etc, etc. For him to come out and say this, I think some of the lower down pros, for want of a better word, for want of a better phrase, will be looking at him and saying, what are you saying? Like, why are you saying that? Because actually, okay, yeah, John Rahm has made a fortune, Roy McIlroy's made a fortune, Scotty Scheffler's made a fortune, but... What about those pros that are trying every year to keep the card? I didn't, I, until I sort of came back to the card argument, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love John Rahm. Don't be wrong. I love the guy. I think so he's brilliant. So you're basically saying that if you're a player who was offered, so imagine I'm live and I've gone, hey, Josh, here's 100 million to come. Yeah. You'd have taken it. Uh, of course I would. <laughs> Where do I um, sign? And, but if you'd said no, yeah. you shouldn't get compensated. I, I, I think if that's the scenario we're talking about. Right, if you said no. If you said no, you shouldn't be compensated. Yeah. 100% you shouldn't be. Why should you be compensated? Because you... Okay, so no, let me say this, right? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now because this really does rile me when we get into what he says because that's like saying, right, okay, let's take um, a football analogy. That's like saying, oh, come and sign for City. Nah, I didn't want to go. Okay, well, here's Champions League medal because you didn't come, you turned it down. Here's the compensation. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, because... Then why should you be given money for saying no? Yeah, but if... You I... said no. Yeah, so if... it's not <laughs> like you said yes and then go, actually, no, I can't because I want to stay here. You said no. You denied. You went, nah, rip up. The... Not doing it. Okay, but bear in mind the stories that we've had in the last week, two weeks around the scripting, around the sort of how how is this all coming about people have to say this people have to say that right bear in mind those stories and then you've got players that may have been offered money and they've gone well, like stuck in the middle here kind of thing would i like to take 50 60 70 80 100 150 million yes i would but but the pj tour is here they've looked after me mm, i'm stuck in between and then all of a sudden the pj tour have gone actually yeah we'll take your money I get it. Yeah. Hold yeah, on a minute. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's my portion of that pie? I get it, but I think they've already been compensated. The prize funds have gone up. Take the Open this week. Yeah, but They're playing for 18% more than last year. Yeah, but that's... They've gone from a 14.5 million to 16.5 million. I, and prize I agree, pot. but that's fine. Elevator events. That's fine. Yeah, not all these players are in ele elevator no, events. But, but Exactly, so the players who are going to be getting it have already been compensated. But they could have gone to live and been guaranteed... What forty odd grand every week or whatever the, the events are guaranteed it. They aren't guaranteed that mm. on the PJ Tour. Right. Let's get into what John Ram said before this debate goes any further, <laughs> guys. Let us know what you think of this. Clearly, me and Josh share slightly different opinions on this, <laughs> um, but we would love to know what you think. Every time you watch this video, you listen to the podcast, we love it when you interact. So please do get down in the comments and let us know what you think on this. Do you agree with what John Ram is about to say here in this press conference, or are you against what he's saying? Are you Camp Alex or are you Camp Josh? Yeah. We'd love to know. Also, guys, if you are watching Batline Films the first time, this is your home of breaking new stories. So please do consider subscribing and turning on the bell, which is just next to the subscribe button. And don't forget to also check out the pod. Okay, Josh, um, what has John Ram said? So he's basically come out and said that he understands that the PJ Tour are wanting to do something for those players who helped and stayed on the PJ Tour. But at the same time, and I'll be the first one to say, I wasn't forced into anything, Ram said in his press conference. So, okay, so he that. said, "Yes, but he's John Rahm, mate. Yeah, he's John Rahm. <laughs> he's not. With you in he's terms not of like player, player A that's scraping around <laughs> to get his card every month. Carry on anyway, with what he's saying. 
He said it was my choice to stay. Do I think they absolutely should and there must be compensation? No. I just stayed because I think it's the best choice for myself and for the golf I want to play. Now, with that said, if they want to do it, I'm not going to say no. Well, oh, course. so you're happy to you're happy to say, oh well, I don't think they should, but I'll have some. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like Look, I think John Rahm's great and I understand where he's coming from, but I don't think the people that should be compensated, in my opinion, Roy McIlroy, 100%. No. One, mate, that guy was literally a lamb to slaughter. But what? what that but, guy, the everything that's gone on, he they've gone, right, Rory, get yourself up there, lad, say this. I would argue that he probably has already been compensated behind closed doors. Well, he should be, and I'd be wanting a very, very, very but, big brown envelope. So this is what I'm trying, and I said this at the start. Let's say you've got a roster of players. Let's just take Scotty Scheffler, John Ram, JT, Jordan Spieth. Let's say all of them were offered contracts, which they probably were. Even Matt Fitzpatrick was offered one, Terrell Hatton was offered one, and there was talks. They all said no. And from what, as far as we're aware, they all just said, no, I don't want to take that. So why should you then be compensated after saying no to taking up a contract? Your money's gone up in the events that you played, right? Now, hear me out. I'm saying this for the top guys. The money's gone up for the events that you played. The money's up this week at the Open. The money available to be able to play for has increased substantially. Yeah, and I and I understand that, but that isn't guaranteed to them. And what you... I mean, pretty what, much pretty guaranteed for Scotty Sheffield. Yeah, for Scotty Sheffield it is, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's not guaranteed, technically. And also, what you is almost forgotten in this is... Guys have gone, and there was all this talk about live this, live that, against the Saudis. It was all Saudi this, Saudi that. It was none of this PIF. It was Saudi this, Saudi that. And then all of a sudden, the PJ Tour's gone, oh, God, actually, okay, yeah, we'll have a bit. Okay. So those guys can now come back. So as I said in the video last week, they've had their cake, and they've also eaten it. Which you're not meant to do. That's the, the saying is you can't have your cake and eat it. They can, apparently. Bruce. Exactly. <laughs> so this is my point is, yes, I agree. I agree that they said no. They did say no. But equally, there has to be some form of conversation because the PJ Tour have gone, say no to them and we'll say yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. So he went on to say, we all had a chance to go to live and take the money and we chose to stay at the PJ Tour for whatever reason we chose. As I've said before, I already have not make an amazing living doing what I do. I'm extremely thankful and that's all happened because of the platform the PJ Tour provided me with. Now, he said, as far as I'm concerned, they've done enough for me and their focus should be on improving the PJ Tour and the game of golf for the future generations. But what I would say is, what you're missing, John, is the people that are below you mate not everyone earns 43 million in the first three months or whatever yeah, daft yeah. Do you know what, obviously i'm exaggerating there but do you know what i mean not everyone does that where you're john ram mate you're top three in the world you turn up to an event and you're almost guaranteed money because of how good you are some guys are scrambling around we know how hard it is even players like i don't know top of my head uh matt wallace yeah brilliant golfer had to qualify for the open had this year. to qualify for the open this year like I'm not saying he's scrambling around for his card, but it's tough. It's a tough thing if you're not in that top echelon of player. And those are the guys that arguably might have been offered a couple mil, whatever it be, to go and make this roster at live. And now those guys get to come back. I'd be like, whoa, hold on a minute. Okay, Tigo, I've got a question for you. Yep. So if, if you're saying, right, these guys should be compensated, should live golfers be compensated give, with giving back their status? So, for example, Lee, this is DP World, Lee Westwood, yeah. Ian Poulter, yeah. they had to resign their membership, otherwise mm -hmm. they keep getting these fines. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So they resigned it. Should their compensation be you allowed your membership back as it was, the status that you had and the events that you played? Okay, that's still going to affect a bottom player because mm -hmm. they're going to take up two spots. Yeah, yeah. And should the likes of Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, should those guys be allowed to get compensated in terms of not monetary, but be allowed to play? Well, it looks like that's going to happen. That is how this is going to go, which is why I think for the guys on the PJ Tour, it's almost a bit like a kick in the face. The only way but, I see compensation working though, Josh, and I, I agree with what you're saying, but the only way I see this working is that if every player gets it. Why, I, why I've read this wording is that every player is not going to get it. The way I get this is that it's only going to be those top echelon players. They are not us. Rory, I mean, Rory doesn't need it. John Rams just said it. He doesn't need it. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but there's 40 million change on Rams' life. Absolutely not. And I get all that. it does is confirm wealth over generations, yeah. generational wealth. But 
what I'm saying is, have they already been compensated in terms of have bottom players have the ability to play for more money? Yes. But have they got the readiness of the money in terms of they have to play well to earn it? They're the players that I would say should be compensated. Yeah. Not the top players. No, and 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 because those players are gonna take up their spots. And I can I can agree with that. I, I agree that it's it's that everyone does need to be compensated. Like you flip it on its head, look at Hemmick Stenson. Hemick Stenson was Ryder Cup captain. Yes, he took the money with Liv. Ryder Cup was then stripped of him from it, from him, sorry. Then all of a sudden, hold on a minute, we're now in partnership with them. Well, hold on, where's my Ryder Cup captaincy back? Mm. That's a big honour that he probably, yes, okay, you can say, well, he took the money. And I'm sure at the time on the podcast, we were like, well, he's taking the money. Yes, strip it from him. Because we didn't have all the facts. We didn't know all this was going on. We, we're learning about this as you're learning about it, as the whole world's learning about it, yeah? I think what the PJ Tour has done is underhanded. I think it's... John Rahm even describes himself as a sense of betrayal. Mm. I think there is almost a bit of a... sort of like a siege mentality in the sense of, well, hold on a minute, what about us? And I get it, but then, like you said, flip on its head, Stenson could argue the same. Well, now hold on, now we're all back together again. Where's my compensation in my Ryder Cup cats and back? I agree, but I disagree with what John's saying. I think the word compensation just opens up an absolute of course it does. can of worms in terms of who gets it, what does it get it, and what does it look like for each player. Yeah. How would you know, how how do you justify what Rory gets? How would you justify monetary value to what John Ram gets? How would you justify monetary value let's say if they're gonna say every player's gonna get yeah. compensated? How is it done on percentage of your earnings? Well, it's not fair that, is it really? No. I know Rory's taking the brunt of most of it, but equally I would say it was in his interest too, in the sense of he was maybe. And by the way, don't call me on this. I'm, sure <laughs> whoa, alluding whoa, whoa. To, I'm alluding to maybe there was a little bit of okay, do this and we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll sort this. And I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just saying. I would say the fact that we got the idea of that plays are being scripted. This would already have happened. How does this leave you though? Like, are you in Team Josh or Team? Alex here on this. I think you could argue this either way. I think John Ram is being very, very sensible. And as I said right at the start of the video, he is going to put my estimations. I know he's probably not going to open yours, but going down in yours. But no, anyway. no. I, I, <laughs> look, I, I agree with what he's saying. I get it. I get where he's coming from. But it's almost like he isn't thinking about the wider player forum, as it were. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. That's that's my that's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for joining us on today's breaking news story. A little bit of a heated debate there. We'd love to know where you stand on this. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell. That's just that one next to the subscribe button because we'd love for you to join us every single time we release a breaking news story.